squirreling out on the table today, we have a Marvel Science Kit from Uncle Milton. Uncle Milton toys are a little different than your regular action figure toys as they provide a little more interactivity. Uh, there's more things to do, problem solving, just a lot of hours of play packed into these toys. This set is the Iron Man Arc Reactor Lab and we are going to attempt to build it. The set comes with a lot of pieces and parts and light up effects so it's really something special to take a look at. On the back here of the box just kind of shows you some more things that it does and uh, it looks like it takes three AAA batteries so we'll see how that works too. Let's give this a shot and uh, maybe electrocute ourselves a few times. Outside of the box we have some pieces to look at. We've got a whole bunch of uh, puzzle pieces to build your arc reactor with. We've got a nice looking uh, poster guide uh, about Iron Man's power source and uh, some neat things you could probably staple to your wall if you're interested. A full sheet of highly descriptive instructions, all in English, so that's really nice to see. And uh, a nice shrink-wrapped uh, reactor that Tony Stark Industries would probably send to your door. Looks good. And Before we go too far, let's install some batteries, and it's not that hard. Just flip over to the reverse side and unscrew your um, battery cover and pop them in and it looks like we have a few different modes we've got off in the center light mode and lab mode so I'm gonna switch it to lab mode because that's probably what I'm gonna be working on the next part is building your arc reactor or mainly just some cosmetic additions and you simply take your top part of the reactor and counterclockwise off and then you're going to attach all these side pieces um, and that's nothing too complicated and then we have these uh, side pieces here the reactor joints as they call them and kind of pretty it up a little bit and there we go that's the core main reactor part so now we can get on to phase one of the instructions um, in building our arc reactor Now we're going to solve the arc reactor with phase one using some power chips. And if you look closely, each power chip is a little different by a little notch up here on the end. And the one without any notches is your primary ignition chip. So what you do is you simply remove your top of your reactor here and you're going to take your primary chip and you're going to place it in uh, one of the spots here and actually it always goes up in this top spot and you know that by pressing down and you'll hear this sound then you're going to take your other three chips and you're going to guess which slot to put them in and that's what this is for it is a power chip tracking guide and they suggest taking photocopies of this or getting some more copies online so you don't completely uh, ride all over it uh, it is going to change on you and reset, so that's why uh, this set has a lot of hours of fun to it. So I'm just going to have a little fun and I'm going to place in some uh, chips here and there. And uh, I'll just do, I think that's the one, two, three counterclockwise. Now what you do is you take your power core ring here and you place it back on top. And we're going to hopefully press down and hear a power up sound. Interesting. So basically I have reached power level one and the trick is each time you remove the three chips and place them in a different combination and each time you get a different combination you go up in level. That's why you want this guide. I wrote down here on my top, uh, top spot uh, one, two, and three and so now I'm going to move them into a different location and hopefully I'll get a different sound effect and uh, go to level two. So let's just simply pull these three out and I'm gonna rotate them. I'm gonna put one down at the bottom now and I'm gonna put two here and I'm gonna put three here and we'll replace our uh, cap, our power ring and see if I've reached level two. Oops, that's not good. Anyway, let's see what it does. Ah! 
That's definitely a lot louder sound, so we've definitely reached a level two. So now I'm going to attempt a level three. So we just pop off the ring again, and this time I'm just gonna keep trying to keep this as simple as I can in moving these pieces around. We're going to put the three down here, gonna put two here, and uh, yeah, sorry, one, <laughs> two, three. I'm gonna write it down so I don't go crazy. And we'll put this back here so I don't kill any more people in the lab. I'm sorry about that. I just killed the lab dog on accident. I probably didn't snap it on right to begin with because that felt a lot more solid. So now we're going to test out hopefully what could be level three. <laughs> definitely a longer sound effect. That was definitely longer and it sounded more strong that time. So now I've got to flip some pieces here to get to level four. I'm basically going to switch two of them and leave one in. How's this for science? <laughs> here we go. Sounds like a car now. So now I'm going to do a little more rotation just to keep things uh, in mind and we're going to take all three and we're going to rotate them around. This is the best way that I can keep track of this. And give it another shot here. And my final level of positioning, hopefully, we are going to place the one chip, hopefully it still says one, up here, and the number three chip over here, and the number two chip down here. That should be all different combinations. And we are going to give this a shot, and hopefully this won't burn my table down. It is a wood table. I wonder if that's gonna be a concern. Here we go. That's got to be full power because it's just kind of staying on now and it's giving a nice solid hum. Ha! It was a, a long hum. Oh, and that last sound I believe was it resetting itself. So now when you play with it you basically have to start all over to get that final sound. So that is a pretty ingenious little toy. Total uh, dinner table fun. I could just see everybody gathered around trying to light this thing off. The third feature of this toy is, like Tony Stark does, displaying your arc reactor. And that's just a simple thing. You've got this neat little uh, transparent uh, cube um, wedge, whatever you want to call it, and it just fits here on the back of your arc reactor. And that way, when you're displaying it, uh, you can uh, put it somewhere in a room and uh, just go for it. Oh, don't forget to turn it to light mode, of course. And this way, you should get about 15 minutes of... Uh, arc reactor light effect and there should be three different um, lights just by pressing down here um, you'll get three different modes so that is the iron man arc reactor lab from uncle milton a pretty fun toy when it's all said and done you might make fun of me a little bit with all these little chips and things looking similar, but it's actually very entertaining. I recommend you get one, put it on your coffee table, and I don't think you're going to put it down trying to get the different lights and sounds. And again, that night light feature is pretty neat. I think this is a great toy. It's a good price point. You can find them over at Toys R Us and Amazon.com. And hey, look, I didn't even electrocute myself. <laughs> all right, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede.